Hey, Ultimate Learners. So in this video, I wanted to teach you guys all about internal energy. And I'm gonna be doing that at the cost of my mobile phone. That's right, guys, you've seen it here first. I'm gonna be putting my mobile phone into some liquid nitrogen to see if it can survive. Now, for those of you that don't know about liquid nitrogen, it's very, very cold. Nitrogen's all around us in the air. It's about 78% uh, of the composition of air. And if we can take the air and cool it down, then what happens is that that nitrogen gas condenses into a liquid. Uh, we tend to use liquid nitrogen in things like cryogenics and freezing things like skin tags. Um, but I'm gonna be using it today uh, for a much more scientific uh, use to freeze my mobile phone. The reason I want to do that is because modern mobile phones have what we call an LCD screen. Now LCD just stands for liquid crystal display. Um, and that just means that there's a liquid in the screen of uh, our mobile phones that's able to polarize light. And it's present in you know uh, modern mobile phones. And I wanted to see, would that liquid freeze when I put it into liquid nitrogen? When my phone defrosts, could I still use my mobile phone after? Or would the liquid nitrogen completely damage my phone? Well, we're gonna find out in this video, guys. So before we get into putting my phone into the liquid nitrogen, let's try and understand what internal energy is. Now, I'm sure we've all experienced what a change in state looks like. Probably put an ice cube out and it's melted, so it's gone from solid to liquid, or you've put uh, liquid water in your kettle and you've heated it up and it's turned into gas. Well, those are examples of a change of state. Now, whenever a substance changes state or increases its temperature, this is all to do with internal energy. Because internal energy is made up of two parts. It's made up of the potential energy of all the particles in that substance and it's also made up of the kinetic energy of all the particles in that substance. Potential energy is all about, uh, you know, the bonds and uh, the bonds between the particles and where the particles are relative to each other. And the kinetic energy is all to do with the movement of those particles. So for example, um, when you heat a substance up, you're going to be breaking bonds between those molecules. So the potential energy increases, but then the particles will also gain kinetic energy and start moving around more. Both of these will increase the internal energy of that substance. And that's exactly where the science behind today's experiment comes from. Because when I take my mobile phone and put it into the cold liquid nitrogen, the particles in my mobile phone, the particles that they're made of, uh, their kinetic energy is going to decrease and new bonds may start to form, which is going to decrease the internal energy. Now, as internal energy decreases, uh, the temperature of your material will also decrease. And that's where the mobile phone is going to freeze. All right, guys, so we've now reached the moment you've all been waiting for. I've got my liquid nitrogen. I just need to pour this into my bowl and I'm gonna put my mobile phone in there. So what I thought to do though, uh, put the mobile phone in there just for a few seconds, take it out and we can check it out, see what the liquid nitrogen has done to it, uh, see if there's been any impacts. And then I'm gonna fully submerge the phone into liquid nitrogen until it stops working. All right. check out my phone first of all guys look fully working this is a clickbait bit of damage to the camera at the back
so oh yeah we just put the phone in there just for five seconds <laughs> and look at that I can't even stop recording so I think some of the uh, liquid crystals I've frozen but it's still working it is still working oh you see that on the screen you see it well what I want to do then guys as you can see the screen is still working it's just that a few of the buttons aren't so maybe certain parts of the liquid uh, crystal display are frozen but what I'm gonna do is put my phone in the liquid nitrogen now and see how long it can last until it, the screen fully just stops working look guys so well the protective screen <laughs> the protective screens come off I guess that was no protection against liquid nitrogen but what's cool is you can see these really cool kind of snowflake patterns can you see them these cool snowflake patterns have started to emerge on the screen And the whole screen is just completely. Oh, yes, sir. the whole screen is completely frozen. And what's pretty cool about it is that my phone is so cold that even the moisture in the air is condensing and freezing on the surface of my phone. So what I'm gonna need to do, guys, I'm gonna leave my phone for a few hours, see if it can defrost then we'll see if it's still working after. So there's some good news guys. I took the phone, uh, left it for a few hours. I plugged it in the charger. Um, and as you can see that, you know, uh, it's, it's held its charge and the screen came on to let me know that the charge had been plugged in. So that's some good news. Uh, but let's just see now if my phone is still usable. Let's have a look. So here's the power button. Oh no, oh, it doesn't look like my phone survived. And you know what guys, I kind of knew it because when it was in the liquid nitrogen, I don't know if you picked it up, but the screen cracked. So I think the liquid in the screen, as it froze, it expanded because it cracked the screen. I don't know if you can try and get your close up. Here, look, I can just about get my fingernails in. So yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it popped the screen off. I didn't think it was gonna work. It's turned into a bit of a an unboxing video. This one has. Let's see what's inside of the Samsung. So I'm not too clued up about the phones, um, but we've got like another plastic layer here. And underneath that, maybe someone can hit me up in the comments as to why why this isn't working. But 
basically guys don't put your phone in liquid nitrogen so unfortunately guys my phone did not survive the liquid nitrogen test but luckily that wasn't my latest mobile phone uh, I got an upgrade last week Ta -da. I just had an idea of what to do with my old phone so in a way it's kind of like recycling it's just for science and you've learned about internal energy today so Samsung, if you've got anything else you want to dip into liquid nitrogen, holler your boy.